We begin this afternoon at four with a definition. According to the Department of Justice in Delaware, sexting is defined as, quote, the sending or forwarding of nude, sexually suggestive or explicit pictures on your cell phone or online. This is a problem that is growing nationwide, especially among young people. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kozlov spoke to the Milford Police Department about the problem. Here at the Milford Police Department, you'll see all the normal pamphlets you'd expect. One telling you to wear your seatbelt, another one urging you not to drink and drive. One you might not expect to see is this one, a pamphlet dedicated to sexting. At the Milford High School on Wednesday, there's a steady flow of kids walking the hallway. And keeping them safe is school resource officer Corporal Robert Maston. He says sexting is a growing problem nationwide, including right here on Delmarva. In a lot of cases, we find that the sender was pressured by the person that received it into actually sending it. Maston joined WBOC to talk about the issue and says that according to the numbers provided by the Department of Justice, at least three out of ten young people nationwide are involved in sexting. Maston says awareness could be the answer. I think a lot of parents like to take the philosophy of my baby, they would never. Uh, do you think this is something that they should talk to their kids no matter what? I think no matter what. I, I think, you know, whether your children has a cell phone or at this point, you know, educate them on it because it's not always you know, the cell phone that they own that they may take a picture like this on. Now, like everything else, all apps can be used for good and bad, but one app that parents should be aware of is this one, Snapchat, because for whatever purpose you're going to use it for, these messages disappear in 10 seconds or less. As for kids, the message is clear. Send is forever. That's because often a message will go from one person to another and sometimes find its way online where it will live forever. Once it's out there, you can't get it back and you don't know how many people saved the photo once they received it. Uh, they can tell you they erased it. There's no guarantees of that. Um, you don't know if people printed it out. But once it's, at, once it's out there, we can't guarantee the fact that it won't be shared in the future. A growing problem nationwide and one that's avoidable for the youth of Delaware. One message that the Milford Police Department wants to make sure that kids understand is that when you send a message like this, it's not necessarily just going to the person that's receiving it. In fact, inside this pamphlet, they say that more than half of the people that receive these messages share them with other people. Reporting here in Milford, Seven Kozlov for WBOC News. And important to note here that sexting not only is it dangerous, it is also illegal. Delaware uh, Department of Justice reminds us that you can face charges for producing child pornography just by being in the image. You can also face charges of distributing child pornography by forwarding an image like that. Lastly, just having the images on either your cell phone or computer can be defined as possession of child pornography where punishment is severe. For all of those charges, you could also be added to the sex offender registry in Delaware. Similar story in uh, Maryland and Virginia. Sexting is also a problem there. They've seen a rise in this. In Maryland, it is a crime for anyone to possess and retain an image or video of a child under the age of 16 in sexual conduct, as well as share or sending sexually suggestive photos. Also in Maryland, child pornography is a crime that can be used against people engaged in sexting. And in Virginia, there are not specific teen sexting laws. The state punishes teen sexting under its laws against child pornography. And like in Delaware, adults punished in Maryland and Virginia for having an offense involving sexting may be required to register as a sex offender.